Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Honky with Let's Play Jade Empire Special Edition, Episode 57. In this one, we're going to see what the confoundable minutia does. It doesn't matter. Just activate it. What? What? No, impossible. I, I fixed it. I checked everything. It should work. Unless, no, unless, no, I did that. Oh, where'd the city go? Sorry, I've got the effects turned down, but it would have been the big lens flare and the city would have disappeared. And well, stuff. that was anticlimactic. A flash of light, but no resounding boom. What good is such a light if Earth doesn't meet sky? Um, where are we? What? Oh my. It seems we have transported to a... a heaven. A strangely familiar one for some reason, but I don't recall ever moving to such a place before. It is strangely beautiful. We are clearly not in an earthly realm. So you don't know where we are? This place is completely unknown to me. Or is it? I am compelled to to take the steps this way. There are gears here that I remember. Watch where he goes. We'll need him to get out of here. So, um, yeah. We got looks at water wheel, um, bunch of weird stuff. There's a windmill over there, a tiger and a dragon, and my evil wicked shadow, baby, yeah. So, uh, let's go exploring, I guess. Ceramic urn. Another cow bezoir. Hmm. And what do we got here? Con another configuration. Remember, we found the configuration of the horse before. Now we've got the configuration of the ox. Hmm. Look at this. It's a marvel. A wonder of monumental proportions. A phenomenal piece of unbelievable craftsmanship. Quit your jabbering, Kang, and just tell me what it does. I haven't the slightest idea. But it must be important, wouldn't you think? I mean, just look at it. These machines, they are manipulators, fabricators. They bully energy into... into something. They can be activated, deactivated, on and off, off and on, you, you see? But what? enough of your fawning, Kang. Where are we? I... I can only come to one conclusion. Lord Lau's furnace. Kang, you are speaking nonsense. Lord Lau is a legend, an artificer of the celestial bureaucracy. His works are too fanciful to be real. Legendary, mythical, and overrated in some respects. But if anyone else has a better origin for such machines as this, I'm not hearing it. Who is Lord Lau? Artificer to the celestial bureaucracy, he creates machines that themselves also create. Although I'd make them a little less delicate had I his resources. Still, he is an inspirational figure for inventors. And we are in his playhouse. You select the machines you want to activate, and then the tiger or the dragon button. Like this. Uh, here we go again. Don't worry. The individual machines are not activated. I think the switches must be thrown on at least two of the components before it will do well, whatever it does. You also have to select a fuel. It looks like there are a few pieces of cinnabar in the contraption, but it may accept others as well. Do you think it's wise to play with it? Well, judging by the pile of ashes I found near the controls, if you do it wrong, it either creates a nice warm fire, or burns the person standing here to a crisp. It looks like a powerful thing, so just guessing at the possible configurations will <clears throat> probably get you into trouble and waste the cinnabar in the machine. So. You might want to be careful how you go about it. Things like this usually have directions. Uh, no, recipes. No, that's not it. Um, a configuration. Oh. Wait, didn't we find a strange set of directions? Very true. Perhaps you should give them a try. They didn't mean much before, but now we may have the tools to make something of them. All right, well, let's check them out. Head on over to our uh, inventory, plot items. Here, here we go, configuration of the horse. Found a strange excerpt from a diary. The pages were torn from the book, but kept together as if they were an important secret. In his ravings, my husband talked of madmen with eyes of metal and of a strange island in the skies. His words frightened me, but none more than when he clutched my arms, suddenly lucid. It's the tiger. 
he said, fever burning in his eyes. The tiger feeds on the stone of the cow, torn from the bovine's innards. All but the cogs are watching, waiting and active, waiting for the tiger to feed. After his recovery, my husband remembered nothing of his journeys or of his ravings, except one. A stone, torn from the innards of a cow. A cow bezoar, used to treat conditions of the blood and circulation of cow bezoar forms only in the stomach of very ill cattle. Cow bezoars are extremely rare, but many seek them for their curative nature. Huh. So let's go back. All but the cogs are watching, waiting it active. So, okay, let's see what we've got around here. First off, what do we have here? We've got the cranking cauldron. That's quite the bit of cranking there. Okay, and what do we have here? Whirling cogs, the one that we don't want. Okay, save those for later. So, all the rest we need to use. Here we've got the conductor. Electricity there. The clapper chimney. Good bit of smoke there. Hey, and it's not even slowing down quite as much as I thought it would. And what else we got? Nothing, 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 nothing. nothing. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, the water wheel. That's uh, quite the water wheel. Okay, so we've got all of those uh, contraptions working. That uh, don't look like it now. And now, what do we got up here? Oh, we got a book. Let's read it. The Celestial Order, Volume Three. Anything else up here? No, uh, oh, a fuel. Oh, a fuel hopper. This is probably where. The fuel hopper contains some cinnabar ore, but there's a separate section. The configurations likely need specialized fuels to make them effective. Let's load a new fuel into the hopper. You rummage through your pack, looking for something that this machine might use as fuel. Place the cow, Bezoar. How Lord Lau managed to predict the shape of a stone formed in a cow's gullet, you'll we'll never know. But a small round cup in the fuel hopper holds the Bezoar securely. So, that's why you buy cow bezoars, pick up cow bezoars, because you need them for here. Alright, oh, we got a switch here. Reset console. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, book stand. Reset console. Okay, I guess that um, turns off all the machines that we turned on. But now, if you remember right, it said, it's the tiger! It's the tiger! So what's it gonna do? What's gonna happen? Find out in the next episode. This has been your Funky Honky with Let's Play Jade Empire Special Edition. Stay tuned for episode 58, and I hope you will see me next time.